Hi, welcome back. My name is Srikant. We are looking at data sphere and SEC connectivity options in detail in this series. In today's session, we are going to understand use case three, that is reading the data from SEC models and dimensions using SEC export data service API. For that, we are going to use cloud data integration connection. It's going to be created in data sphere and read the data from model and dimensions and load them into tables using data flows, which are native data sphere objects. So this use case is not a consumption use case. This is more data integration use case, or you can also call it as data ret retraction use case from SAC to data sphere. Let's get to the notes for this particular option. This is going to be SAC to data sphere. Most of the time when you complete your planning, you wanted to send the planning data to data warehouse. Could it be another BW systems or HANA cloud or SAC uh, data sphere in this case. The process is going to be setting up OAuth client in SAC. This time, um, the OAuth client will be set up in SAC because we're going to read the o, o data service API or export data service API of SAC system. And then we choose the purpose API access because system is going to interact with the with this API. Uh, it's two-legged authentication. There is no specific user access that is required to get the data from analytics cloud models or dimensions. And with that authorization grant will be cloud client credentials. Um, and then that's it. You, once uh, the OAuth client um, setup is completed or gen ID is generated, we can get the client ID and secret and OAuth token URL and other authentication URL information. And then we grab that information and go to um, data sphere and create a connection of type CDI, cloud data integration, by providing the service URL and grant type um, and client ID and secret and create the connection. And once the connection is being established in data sphere, we can create a data flow and load the data into data sphere. Before we get to the CDI connection in data sphere, we can test this API um, in Postman to make sure the API endpoints are working correctly. Uh, request and responses are good. So let's do this in the system. The first step is to set up the OAuth client in SAC. I'm going to access SAC application right here and then create a um, OAuth client. This time it is in SAC. Last one that I created is data service because I was using data service export API. Right, right now I'm going to use analytics cloud export API. So I will create a, another OAuth client. So you can see right here, you can give the name and then choose the purpose API access and then choose the um, access on what kind of service. Since I'm replicating the data from export, using export data service API, so choose that one. And that's going to be my scope for this access. And then give, a, give it a name. Uh, authorization grant will be client credentials. So this is going to generate client ID and secret as the credentials for that. So I can just uh, give a name and then say, okay. I already did that. So you can open um, the created client. So you can see the name and API access and I've chosen data export service API. Grant is client credentials, ID and secret are generated. So with this information, I can go to SAC. Uh, oh, actually, before I go to SAC, I wanted to test this API by going into the um, Postman. So I have some Postman collection required for testing. Um, I can check the ID providers just to see uh, say the first one that I need to do is to request access token. It's going to request and then proceed the token, use it and then send this one. The response, let's take a look at the responses for this one. Um, I get the response back with all the providers, which is good. This is working. 
So I'm going to read one of the provider's data. Uh, that's going to be either sales planning or um, or the new model that I created, fact sales import. This is an analytical model. I can do. I can just pick one of them and then start importing the data from that model into into essays into data sphere. So take this provider name, copy it. Uh, I'll remember this one. So the Postman test is good. I, I can do more tests to, uh, to test the fact data by running this API with the required endpoint, uh, but that's that's okay. I, I, I just checked, this is good. So switching back to Datasphere system and then create a connection, right? The connection is of type CDI, Cloud Data Integration. So I've created several connections before. This one is of type CDI. Create connection. Look for C cloud data integration. Um, and then provide the URL, the base URL that is required for integrating with SAC data export service API. And then um, Cloud Connector, I'm not using Cloud Connector because it's not an on-premise system. It's just a, another cloud system. So leave it, uh, use Cloud Connector, it's false. Authentication type, it's OAuth2. Client credentials, yes, I get the OAuth token endpoint, uh, response type token, and then I will enter client ID and secret. That's all I needed to put it in here. I'm not entering it. I can just say cancel and then show you the one that I have just created. That's going to be cloud integration SAC. Say edit. So this is the URL for Analytics Cloud Export Service API. So the default URL at the root path is data export forward slash administration. Um, and then that's it, Cloud Connector false. Cl and the other credentials are well correctly maintained and save it and then validate it. It's going to be fine. So I'm going to use this connection now and create a new um, data flow. So for that, we'll go to the data builder and then choose new data flow. Um, I can just put this object in this folder. So go to the data flow and drag I use the connection that we just created, our connections, and pick the cloud integration SAC, and then expand this and look for the sales planning model in the SAC namespace. Of course, this folder default namespaces, and then you can find the sales planning model in the top. That's the one. Expand that, and then bring the fact data from the sales planning model. It's a bit slow. I grab the fact data and drag onto the canvas page. Then just check whether there is data in it. And I have some data uh, in this model with the three regions and some gross amount. Uh, I can create further data transformations and load this into table, a local table of data sphere. So this is how I can read the data from SAC uh, system using um, or data service connectivity. You can also read the data from dimensions or public dimensions as well. So with that, I can conclude the option or use case three to read the data from models and dimensions using SAC data export service API and having a connectivity set up for cloud data integration in Datasphere and read the data um, from SAC and load it into tables. That's all for today's session. Thanks for listening. And for detailed training on Datasphere, please reach out at uh, uh, at gmail.com. Thanks. Bye for now.